What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are doing a deck that I call Psycho Pine Clones. The reason why I'm calling that is because we are running eight copies of zero cost cards with the sole intention of turning these little little guys uh, into Pine Clones on turn four. Uh, I just found that Pine Clone is so much better when you can play these little guys together with it on turn four because sometimes the cards that you play in the turns before they're gonna get controlled they're gonna start field clearing them with weed spray and uh, flick and all kinds of other stuff uh, the really good play is also to develop your um, mushroom grotto on three and then you can play like two of these into the mushroom grotto and then play pine clone and it just ends up being this field that they just cannot deal with if you need to make it even better you turn them into molecules uh, and if you need some extra real quick damage you're gonna use sunstrike uh, these little guys are also very useful together with Cop Cannon, since uh, they're both team-up cards. Uh, you can actually play it and immediately play Cop Cannon. This will give you a extra sort of win push. Uh, it'll also give you a mechanic of being able to come from behind. This definitely accounts for the uh, big removal in this deck. A little bit of ramp, a little bit of just early game control. You're really going to start setting up this uh, deck on turn 3. I really wanted to try the all-out. I got this idea from Saman, I think. Uh, just the all-out four little buddies, four um, puff shroom deck. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's just get right into the games. I think this is going to work well. It's kind of nice having such a laser-focused deck. I just found that you, usually, I don't know if I've ever ran this combo with eight cards that cost zero, but I have found that usually I'll run, let's say, four puff shrooms, and when you have puff shrooms in your hand, the pine clone just becomes so much better. Pine clone is seriously one of the best cards in the game. Fry, is this going to be a YouTube video? The answer is, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll let you in on the secret, you guys. Um, I do a lot of streams. The decks that are good, so they either perform well or they perform horribly, but it's fun for some reason, uh, those end up on YouTube, and the other ones I do not. No one wants to, I presume, no one wants to see an experiment that just fails and we didn't learn anything from it. This is interesting. There is a combo where you can go turn 3-4, so this is a little bit hard to get rid of right now. This is not bad on turn one. Environment. Without Pine Clone, this, that's not very good. Alright, let's try this. We have something. I wonder if you should hard mulligan for Pine Clone in this set. I think we leave that. This will die to Scorch eventually. Weird he's putting that on the ground against Solar Flare. I'll berry blast the toxic. Interesting. He is playing way into Scorch. Very strange indeed. I think I'm just gonna leave these and not spend cards on them. I could berry blast this one. I think I'll develop this. I think taking the four damage here is not the end of the world. It seems a pretty aggressive deck there. First time using Twitch, welcome. Three awesome. Here we go. This turns into a two, it's not bad. Maybe that was the consideration, so you can make a good trade. Just get a molecule. There's a Scorch. I'm not going to be able to play next turn anyway, so might as well keep the Molecule alive. We can get extra greedy if we want. If he commits four brains somehow, it could be all good greedy here. We have this play, or this play even. He's not, it's another environment's not going to kill anything. I think it's actually good to be greedy here. The question is, should we weed whack that? Or should we puff shroom? In which place he plays an environment and ends up killing both? Nah, let's just... Actually, oh, he's not running this card. This is his mustache. I don't know what this guy's planning. Probably doesn't have... well... 
Alright. Not taking any chances. He might be going for sugary tree. Who knows? If he has a bungee plumber, he can take out one of the Velociraptors. This is really fine. These guys have still have little health to spare. It's fine. The the, the mall kill is still still better. And none of his powers can remove another one. I might develop this into a one drop. It's a little weird. Should I play these? I could. Might as well play this one who heals me a little bit. Maybe I'll play two of them. I think I'll actually play two of them. Though. It's nice to have the team ups. Having a one drop in front of your other minions is pretty good. I think I'll just play the two. So we'll do the one that heals since it loses its stats anyway. Here it comes this. We'll keep this around because we get another molecule. So we're getting all these fours. That's a really good one drop. Hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful molecule. Nothing too fancy. Nothing outrageous. Kill the Tomb Razor now. And we're we're putting some heat on this. Look at this. Look at this poison shroom. This was this one it was amazing. Adding three damage without charging a block meter even. The seven got blocked. We could have won there. We are in very good shape now. <laughs> Top deck madness! Oh, that hurts. That definitely hurts. Oh, he doesn't even know you guys. He doesn't know. We got Sunstrike. Get wrecked. We did not get Pine Clone and we won. We didn't get Pine Clone or Cob Cannon and we won. That's a really good sign. Real, real good sign. Correct. Is there any Tomb Razor in a really slow deck? I don't like it. Look, Mommy, it's Tim Hortons. I'm a real Canadian now. So far, so good. Oh, baby. Uh, I don't... Against the Gravestones, it's not even like, okay, we're keeping that hand. We're gonna... This is a little slow. I'm so happy I put him past. Please don't super. Thank you. You're also Canadian? Cool. I, I'm not... I, I was born and raised in Minnesota. I think it's three, four... Uh, we'll see what happens. Minneapolis, Minnesota. But... Uh, I live in Toronto. Anyone else live in Ontario here? No. How greedy do we get? Should have developed a shroom for two last year, now that I think of it. <laughs> Live in Ontario? Your aunt lives in Toronto? Your mom lives in Toronto! Your mom's sister lives there! What I'm even saying. We're just letting him conjure all these cards. <laughs> This is a pretty competitive deck, which is why I'm not even running the, uh... This could be a trap! I think it's a trapper. Okay, so the play is, this will create two Puff Shrooms. And then this will hopefully create four Pine Clones at best, and then Molecule. We can get so greedy if we wait one more turn. Should we go for maximum greedness? Maximum greediness intensifies! Let's go. We need one in here. Hey, <laughs> get blocked. Really? I don't think we're gonna do this. Piece of trash garbage zombie. Very nice. 
cover that one. Okay, now we're gonna get super, super greedy. If we get a shim for two, it'll be pretty good. Ugh. Okay, so it'll be Pinecone and Scorch. It's not good, we wanted that to end up in lane four. Oh, sad. Actually, no, it's fine. This one will turn the second one into a plank. Never mind. That works. I'll do this too. It's a, six da it's a scorch six damage to face. This one dies too, so we'll have a, uh, a molecule. Doing pretty good. That's, that's fine. That doesn't do anything. Sugary tree? Freeze. Okay. So it keeps his 4 or 2 alive. It doesn't matter, that one's dying anyway. Uh, we're also, besides for the Molokel, we're gonna protect two lanes with some more Puff Shrooms, which is really nice. We're an extremely. Just look at the health, look at everything. <laughs> this is this smart. We'll go, we'll go for this. This is really good. Do not get Supernova Garg. That would be ridiculous. Twelve and three. This sunstrike ain't bad. I'll just do this. We'll do the sunstrike next turn. Wow. 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 Okay. This one's bad, but these are real, real good. Look at the Astrocado. We just conjured another minion, too. I'll take it. Sure. Just develop this. It to be Weed Spray is fairly active. This repeater is a little sad. Another one. This dies. This definitely dies. Uh, Headstone Carver lives. <laughs> it's because of the sad. <laughs> we also got a one drop. <laughs> kind of unlucky. No! Does this kill everything? Stupid, dude. It's not a flower. Uh, we'll block. Get wrecked! This one? This one? How about this one? That dies. Set some cover living is not the end of the world. Proc the block. That's how it's done. The daily's impossible? People are warning me today's daily challenge is one of these glitchy impossible ones. Look at this Sunstrike. Look at this play. Don't have any team-ups on the field. Don't really need it. Are you kidding me? So now it's a Dying Pharaoh. This would only do four. Okay. This is an answer. Could've put it here. Freeze? That would be so annoying. We're actually healing for... A bunch. No, that's that's lethal. <laughs> Get wrecked. Cobb Cannon is so strong. It's just such a great card. The fact that it can be played on a full field sometimes also just makes it so great. Add more Primal Sunflowers instead of what, though? You have to take something out. I appreciate it when you guys give me suggestions of what to put more of in a deck, but please accompany it with a suggestion of what to take out because it's it that makes it a lot harder people are saying the daily is impossible I'll do it at the end of the stream can you teleport imp throwing garg into team ups what Uh, let's go for some more early game. You know that, of course, is a good card. Let's keep these.
Why imp throwing garg? It's not a good card. Do you mean garg throwing imp? You need a team up. Teleport. Hold on. What about teleport? Garg throwing imp. Uh, Garg throwing imp is a is beastly, right? It's not a bad idea. It's really not a bad idea. Okay, so what if we do... Alright, I'm writing this deck idea down. I know it's probably not... <laughs> I don't know if you were joking, but... Be Immortitia. Hunting Grounds. Teleports. Garg. Launchers. Parasol. That could actually work. I like the idea of teleporting in guard through What did he just do? Wait, oh, he supered and he already... What, what environment did he have? I wasn't paying attention there at all. <laughs> that escalated quickly? What the heck just happened? Oh. Uh... I think we'll just get the big Scorch next turn. It was a graveyard. <laughs> so he super graveyard into Doctor Who Excavator. Wait! This costs three, though. Wait! Oh, this was an integral, interdimensional zombie. I'm like, how in the world did he have enough brains for that? <laughs> I'm like, I was not paying attention there at all. Okay, okay. Oh, oh. That Scorch is good. We can just Scorch Berry Bless. We'll be in the money. He'll conjure a card here. That one conjured card is pretty pretty huge. I hope hopefully, hopefully it's not anything good. <laughs> so strange. Scorch Berry Bless. Looks pretty solid to me. Maybe I'll just put another Doctor Who here. Really? We get wrecked. Get rectified. I kind of need like a mall kill or something. I think keeping this alive might be might be a good thing at this point. It might be a good thing. I just want to play around barrel barrels and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we'll hold on to this. Is it worth it though? Because th this turn we had four. What are we gonna do with five? Mm -hmm. I only have to play. We'll hold on to this. I, the point of this deck was to run the eight zero cost cards, so that's why I'm not gonna get rid of the little buddies for Primal Sunflowers. Even though I, I agree with you, Primal Sunflower, two more would make a good addition to this. He decided he needed more cards. Interesting. <gasps> it's real, real good. Another. <laughs> Thank you. Just, man, I almost don't want to leave these now. I'll do it. You're talking about imp throwing Garg. I'm, wait, Garg throwing imp is a crazy card? Oh. Why do I not know that? Because I only run it with Boogaloo for some reason. Oh, so it's a crazy card. So it only works with Garg throwing Garg then? They should make those cards the same class. It's so annoying. I wonder if Barry Blast is the play here. I think it is. Goodbye. Look at the eight damage. Harsh. It was a huge gamble. Well, it was a small gamble, and it was worth it. Okay. More cards. Shroom for two is fine here. He's not even addressing this. He's not gonna be able to block. What are you doing, man? Okay, well, this is the play. It's just the the cop can't next turn. We're not even gonna play the molecules. 
Get wrecked. Get rectified. Why did he not block lane one? What is he thinking, folks? He has teleport Swabby in his hands. Teleport from when he played his super. You're dead. Congratulations. You played yourself. Not a good play. What is this? PVZ Tryhard Loop Knight? Why is this called Loop? I don't get it. Keep it going. Doctor Who Cheese Cutter Killer Whale? Uh, I'll write it. <laughs> Look, we won! I'll write it down. Use Killer Whale as a card draw card? I don't know. It's just such a waste. You're wasting a card in order to draw a card. I don't know. Why no luck score? Again, this deck's gonna have some highlights. I don't think anything exceedingly lucky. It had a, a good poison shroom in game one. This is actually a, a very competitive deck. I usually will use the luck score for the decks that are just all about making as many weird... The only real lucky card in this deck is Molecule. I would do it if there were a lot more luck cards, basically. I'll keep this one. We haven't started with Super yet. Speak the Devil. This is fine. It's so sad that this has three health. Yeah. Con Man's just such a great card. I think Con Man's fine. I, I don't want them to nerf it because the crazy class needs some needs some really good cards and Con Man is sort of the heart and soul of aggro on the zombie side. Ooh. Definitely taking it. Are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me, man? We are probably gonna Little buddy pine clone up for. Kills one. That's okay, though. That's okay, though. If you say so. It's kind of tough, but I think we have to. I mean, this pine clone is really. Ugh. I think it's just like this. Get healed. And get killed. That was my second little buddy use. Can you do a ball a wall knight boost card deck? Boosting offensive cards and defending them for victory. Jack-o'-lantern. The problem with that jack-o'-lantern strategy and then your bunch of, you know, protective cards is what if they remove it? I mean, you can do... Okay, there is... there. Okay, so if you're focusing... If jack-o'-lantern is the most expensive card, it might be worth it. Okay, so what are we gonna do here? This'll be wall, knight, protect your boosters featuring... Jack, O'Lantern, and Triceratops. Yeah, there might be something there. Run walnuts and stuff. I'll give it a I'll give it a whack. Very interesting. I think we let this happen. The cob cannon should be fine. Should I develop this though? There's one left. The Sunstrike will be better later. I think I'm just gonna develop the two short features. So we can uh, cap can on the top of the morning. This will really. Unless he has another one of these, we'll replace next turn. 
How many deck ideas? Oh, so many. I'm gonna... I, I would like to make a video just with all the decks I've done this year. Just a montage. Okay. Oh, thank you, Angel. Where's Maul? Okay. We'll do the Maul kill after this. Interesting. Uh, it's, yeah. This is fun. I think it's gonna just chicken it. It would be chickenings. This will do six. This is fun. Uh, the best thing we can get right now is Velociradish Hunters, because that'll make this molecule insanely good. Zombie freeze? This doesn't really help. It's not horrible. Might as well play. King? So this, this would have to have three attack in order for it to... In which case we win. We're just gonna do it like this. Here we go! That's what I'm talking about. Does he have Deadly Barrel? Please, no! Uh oh, please do not hit Face or the Soul Patch. That would suck! Oh, we're gonna lose this game! Oh, that's so bad! We needed that damage too. Now, please go Face. Please, please go face. Yes. This is doable, folks. This is extremely doable now. It's Molecule Sun. This is perfect, actually. Oh my, glitching out the Matrix. I keep messing up my Matrix. I think we're fine. I hope we're fine. Doesn't really matter. Let's go! Give me something good out of the five. That is just f <laughs> That's a lot of. Yes, we win! Yes, we win! Uh, usually. We usually win. Please don't roll three. Yes! <laughs> oh. That was crazy. Utter insanity. You guys. Here we go. We found the weakness to this deck. Tankless or is deadly. Let's go. I have to look for a pine cone or something that'll work better. Hopefully we'll just get one. Limited gems glitch? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Again, we're, we're gonna try to petition them to add a set five. It would have to ch you understand. They would have to hire people. It, it's not a simple thing. Oh, they'll just make one. They would have to... They would have to hire an entire staff in order to make a set five in this game, which is yeah. So they would, someone needs to get inspired for that to happen. Make a long story short. Make a long story short. Did he use a superpower yet? No. Sadness. 
I'll do the daily after the stream. Please stop asking, guys. So we can cover this environment now. You're so annoying. So this is the play. We need to, um... We need a ramp. We need to get the cow cannon in as soon as possible and kill this before there's another imp. We're just gonna put Cobb in, uh, in two. There's Pine Club. Still this. Throwing him. It's a good card. Are there a lot of people here today? Oh wow. Yeah. This is like this was the whole summer. We had over two hundred people and that was two thirty two. Sundays usually there's more people. What the heck is my YouTube stream? Cop cannon. And he got the environment? You're so annoying. Nuts to this day. That's a smarty card, eh? What's better, 750 for a hero or seven packs? I would wait for 11 packs. That's that's good. That's the best. That's the best value. Premium packs are, are better than heroes. Better make your current decks better than to just make new ones. Look, mommy, he's annoying.
What do I actually want to happen this turn? Uh, we want to kill this. This is fine. This is eight fine points. Since we have a pine clone lane four, this will turn the final pine clone into the tough jump. Boop. If we knew we were getting a mall kill next year, maybe keeping that was fine. I, I think this was okay though. I kill you. Plus, anyway, Molecule on all these cards. This is probably better than two sevens, is getting a bunch of fives. Where is Molecule? Sunstrike! Oh, baby! This The card we get from this can be very useful here, too. Really just low on cards. So, it's gonna be. This buffs up with the Sunstrike, it's a great combo. Teleport Supernova Guard can come. Very unlikely. Oh. Uh, I think having an empty lane might be good here. Theoretically. It's a lot of damage. We're good. Yeah, no, disgusting sunstrike. Disgusting! Okay. Ours are still lethal. This is 12 damage. These are all double threes. No, we win. Get wrecked! Get rectified. <laughs> Rectify this man's face. Ho ho! Got him. You need a double threes. Five and zero. Oh, look at this deck go. This deck's really coming together. The molecules are pretty important. So do we keep all the pine clones and molecules in our starting hands? Uh, I still don't know. After five, after five wins, still don't know how to mulligan this deck. Come on, pot clone. <laughs> what does he play on one that we need a counter shim for two? Fine, I'll keep it. Ooh. Play arm wrestler. Thank you! <laughs> Praise the Lord! Remember back in back in like pre-release when people play arm wrestler, people always used to shove shim for twos in front of it because they didn't know. It was a silly. Mmm, that was a spicy play. Uh, this is the way. Do you know the way? Bam! That's a lightning bolt for half of a three drop. Completely worth it. This is nice, because now we have the Cobb Cannon next turn. Look at the ramp. The ramp is real. Actually, uh, yeah, well, I have to do this. Please don't end up here. Thank you. I just want the option of the Cobb Cannon. Really, the Cobb Cannon just is a 6 6 is fine. It's just nice to have the option of destroying something. It's so strong. Please don't super. Oh, <laughs> that would have been bad. <gasps> changing plans? Yeah, changing plans. We're gonna pine clone this guy to the Ice Age. Unless he plays a big. What is he gonna play big that's for four? What is he gonna play Stompadon? Nah, we're pine cloning. I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> no one cares. Look at this play, folks. This is a lot of pine clones. This is a lot. This is gonna. <laughs> uh, this will always turn into a pine clone here too. So this is dead. Whee! Got him. <laughs> Give that man a concede. Tell me, pine clone is not the best card in the game, guys. It is so. Really? <laughs> this is so annoying. That wasn't even good. That was just annoying. Doesn't matter. He's down to two. He's within a berry blast of dying miserably. A puff stream would be perfect, because now, now the Cobb Cannon's playable. Whee! Look, Mommy, I'm a... I don't even know what I am. <laughs> I 
Yes. <laughs> La di da di da da da. <laughs> Look, mommy, it's playable now. It used to be dark, but now it's Tony Stark. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> that was harsh, ladies and gentlemen. That was harsh. What's going on, Simon? Why not Gloom Shroom in the stack? There's not enough mushrooms. Cow Cannon is just better. Gloom Shroom wouldn't be bad. You're right. If I had, if I didn't own Cob Cannon, I could go with Gloom Shroom. Why not? In-game spoilers, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Angel. Ooh. Ooh! <laughs> okay, hopefully this is uh, slower brains. S sloper brains? Oh, I need a better pun than that. Come on, Fry. Super slow brains. There you go. Nailed it. See you later, Simex. <laughs> you said hi and bye. Try out the daily challenge. It's impossible, yes. I've been told that by about eight 80 people already. 200 people. Right, the daily's impossible. Uh, for those of you watching this on YouTube, because I presume this is a YouTube video by now. No, don't concede! I want this one! It's, it's, it's uh, September 29th and the daily's impossible today. It's another one of those. One of those! What's the best heroes in which decks? In my opinion, Cycle Cap and Valtrickster Hybrid for Nightcap and Professor Brainstorm are the best decks right now. There's a lot of good decks though. I mean, just look on you. Everything I put on YouTube is a competitive deck, so. Pirate decks are really good. Agra Solar Flare is still strong. Sports are alright still. Oh, yeah. So tempting. <laughs> mm. I'll keep one Malika. I think smells. It's probably just garbage. A whole garbage can. Throw it away. I might develop a shim for two next turn. So it looks like four. So I guess we'll develop these two. It's it's really hard for him to take all this out if it's played on turn three. Uh, Mick Clan Hands is sending me a deck. It's a Blob deck. With super brands. Aggro followed by Blob. You need some bonus attacks for Blob though. This deck could be okay. I would add some bonus attacks instead of fishing, maybe. Or paparazzi? No, get rid of paparazzi. Minus four paparazzi's for sure. It's not good. It's you don't have enough tricks. And add in four. Uh, sorry, you have bonus attacks. What am I saying? Teleports and teleports. It's gonna be hard to pull off. That one. What did he do? He played this. What is he doing? What's he doing, folks? Now, the question is, do I Scorch here? This always plays on heights. This plays around a couple of things. I actually do Scorch here so he doesn't play a, a, a freaking um, Gizzard Lizard. It's a small consideration, but it's the the risk-reward, I think, pays off there. <laughs> Two Pine Clones is a little extra. That's annoying. You like the Pirate decks? They're really good. They're all on YouTube, guys. Wow! He knows! This is what he's running in his deck? That's a really good play right there, actually. Okay, here we go. If we get a Shroom for 2, maybe I'll go Shroom for 2 Pinecone again next turn. We have to try to get some exit. 
This is some really weird, uh, inefficient control boogaloo decks. I'm not so worried. This is doing it. I'm so happy to have block there. It's probably just Malaga. There might be a, a Berry Blast play. What would he even do? Extinction event? I just don't know if two five drops is gonna be enough to kill this guy. I think it's just this. It's in the box. It's in the box. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Bye. Boom. Wow, get red. The ball kill is so much better now. He'll lightning bolt. No! What, he got evaporate? That's so lucky. What's he doing, folks? It's probably it's probably very blast to the squirrel. This is so good. This molecule is just that much better now. Oh get wait, so we're moving. We're moving this one. Here. This changes everything. Now we boop this. I think we'll just bury. <laughs> this does so much damage to face. Do we bar even bury blast this? We don't have to. We can just save it for next turn. This guy's dead. This is totally fine. We'll save the bury blast for next turn in case he. You'd have to block the five. Okay. So now he usually blocks, but he blocks even if he. He gets the heal. No, he didn't get the heal. So Berry Blast wins now. That's the circumstance for Berry Blast. We'll go on there. Might <laughs> Look, mommy, it's BM value. Look, mommy, no one cares. <sighs> this deck is harsh. I'm doing just fine. Micro Seth fan. Sorry, I can't respond to all the comments today. There's too many people. Come on, man. Keep it going. Oh, baby. <laughs> Is Professor Brainstorm worth crafting? You like the RNGs of Eureka? Look, he's worth crafting if you have all your Valks and Tricksters and you don't have them, you know? Because that's... A lot of really good Professor Brainstorm decks. Uh, it's still competitively. Eureka's not a good card. It's not. A, it's one of the worst superpowers actually. Ooh! Do we even keep the Sun Strike here? I'm so tempted to. Mm. <laughs> yeah, he's not. He can't field clear us. Oh man, that's pretty ridiculous. Pay us. And then Moseria. Oh, welcome back, dude. Oh, I don't know. Are they gonna compensate for the daily? I think I'm gonna, probably gonna develop all this on three and this on four or five. Look at this hand. Look at this hand. That's okay, though. We're gonna let the one of the uh, puff shrooms. What are these called again? Button shrooms. Who cares? That's fine. That is A.O. Gucci fine. It's like this. He's plays it. Am 
My tip on Pine Clone, the, the main thing, and I haven't been... I've been doing this the whole stream, I haven't necessarily been speaking it out every single time. You have to know what removal cards does your opponent have. And don't play risky Shroom for 2s earlier that your opponent's just going to field clear. Try to, again, it's nice to develop them on turn 3 and then Pine Clone 4, that's faster. You just have to sort of balance the risk of them removing. Huge Giganticus is very easy to do a play like this, because... He doesn't have any way of field clearing. He doesn't have any chickening. No, there's no weed spray that happens that turn. There's no real anything. Uh, so right now, this is the play. This is ridiculous right now. We're just going phase. I don't even care. Pine clone. If he kills the pine clone, it's fine because he means we'll have more things. To he can even just shoot for two sun strike next turn. We're doing twelve. He has a teleport, so we're not going to actually do 12, but it sets up the sun strike really well next turn. <laughs> In Soviet Russia, plant eat zombie. <laughs> I love that. How did I not think of that one yet? He smoke bombs to remove one pine clone from the mix. He didn't actually burn his teleport. No one cares. No one cares. Plus, this one's still. It's crazy. Here we go. <laughs> Look, mommy, I have the perfect play. I'm so happy I kept this in the starting hands. We had the dream pine clone set up. There's no re reason to mulligan this. This is better than. Um. This is legit better than, uh. I'll kill here. It's not playable. Move, plant! Get in the way. Look, mommy, he's freezing. Lane one. Gotta go after lane one. To make the block meter hit more times. Good play. It's still nine out of eleven. No, it's twelve. We could win if we rolled lucky here. <laughs> Never mind. Boop. We're a berry blast away from winning. We could get freezing farm in and prevent three here. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty lucky, actually. It's a 7-5. We need another Sunstrike, actually. <gasps> or that! That also works! We'll develop the little buddy, because why the heck not? Lane 3. It's good to you, me. <laughs> so we're getting 4-5 drops and a 1-drop. <laughs> this guy's gonna have fun. Here he goes. Um, we can we can use gardening gloves. Is it worth no? So we'll use gardening gloves after the fact. Here we go. You just do your thing, dude. Oh, we got jumping bean. Get wrecked. <laughs> This conjures us a... Okay, now this is... <laughs> oh, this moves plants. Okay, yeah. So it won't matter. If we had a team up, maybe something good would have happened. Get wrecked. A to no, I don't care. Getting Jumping Bean from, from Molokale after a Pine Clone usually gives you so much tempo that it's, it's just insurmountable. We have Lethal in... In two different lanes. There's with three brains, it's just all the king's horses at this point. Can't put huge giganticus together again. When I play the new PVZ, well I can't make content for that yet because it's still in pre-alpha, but uh, I'll play it when it comes out. I played it a little bit. Oh! <laughs> The, the strike throughs. For a damn food. For a damn Maybe I should acquire PPC Heroes and, and and do the production myself. I don't really. <laughs> I don't feel like it. Still want to stream. When did I first start this game? It was in like June of 2016. It was like pre pre alpha.
ban the people who say the daily's impossible? for a pine cone or something. Not a good starting hint. Been watching since January 2017. Damn. Yeah. That's about the time that the old timer started watching. Barrel Deadly? Look it up. Just look up Frime Up Splash Deadly. You'll find several such decks on YouTube. There is one from 2019, I believe. Deadly Splash. Deadly Splash, fry him up. Is that a swashbuckler? Is this man annoying? We have such bad hands. So bad. Let's just hope it's not a flame. I mean, if it's a flame face, at least we'll be getting this within two. It's so sad. No, it wasn't. Yes. And on the chance that it's not, so then this ends up answering the 3 3. Seedling attack deck? Fine. I'll try it. Stupid. This went from being the worst hand in the world to one of the best. Oh, this is so good. This got so good so quickly. Do we just clear his field? Um. Alright, so this always happens. I think we want to take out the guard. Well, he can't play going viral. What, he's gonna freeze? This Gargologist, I think, is the key here. I, I think I'm gonna d double team this Gargologist, just because that's the problem. It's not even that big of a problem. Never mind, I'm going face. Well. Uh, no. This is how you play. Play the game, Fry. Nothing's dying. This is fine. This is fine. Thank you, Pine Clone. Thank you for saving us. Frenzy Power. There's a couple things. Frenzy Power and F Frosty Mu- Crave? He's so annoying. <laughs> Clank him up. This is only three damage. This is totally fine. Uh, it's just Sunstrike, it looks like. Annoying. It's actually more- yeah, more Spore Sunstrike now, because proccing the block is pretty good. Garbage stinks. This food running problem. All right, so the six should hopefully hit. <laughs> this cob can should be okay. It's like a expensive weed wax. It's not the end of the world. Yes, no gargalgus just for you. Yes, that hits. This proxy a block. Use a super to get rid of a pine clone. Yay! Does three more damage. No one cares. A puff shroom would equal us removing a minion. It is right now. It's pretty damn cool. No, he actually has this card. We can't play Cob Cannon. So stupid. Okay, well we whack this. Oh, I forgot. <sighs> That's actually really annoying. Ooh. 
actually really annoying. It's probably a surprise, Garg. I think let's just remove this guy. The skull gets rid of one of my son at the beginning of the turn and gains one attack. Where's room for two when you need it? Let's go! Sunstrike wouldn't be bad either. That's good placement because it doesn't die as easily to the. or get affected by the cop count. Little buddy! <laughs> yes! Little buddy. Little buddy's better actually because it kills us. Please just play. Yes! Thank you! Oh. Uh, just go face? Just go face. No need to screw screw around, folks. This also actually nerfs these two cards, keeps the pine clone alive. Sometimes I just go face. Correct. That's gonna be lethal. One cost card that saves him here? No. It's nine, even a black hole. Did not get it done. Smoke bomb. Could have saved him. I was hoping for defensive end or wannabe hero, something that's big and not a gravestone. It just drains all of his brains there. We top deck that little buddy too. Amazing! Cobb Cannon is so strong. So strong. I'm a good angel bot, how you been? Yo mom is a black one. We'll get rid of one. Really looking for a pine clone of the sorts. I think you keep Molokel there. There's pine clone! Give me something. Play a uh, energy drink. Do we play this? See, now to play this on turn three is kind of ridiculous. I think we do. I'll do it for the ramp. Again, the only time you waste... This is a valuable card. This is two damage. It could remove a, a significant minion from the field. The time you waste that is if you really need the tempo. You have an amazing play next turn. Now we'll be able to do Pup Shroom Pine Club. Uh, two three threes on turn three is amazing into Molecules. It's probably going to be insurmountable. I'm going to put these together. Uh, just so it doesn't charge the block meter too much. It'll be easier to block, but... Maybe because we're molecaling next turn, you don't want to do that. We really have 5-6. So good. OTK Amphibious Cat Lady. Uh, he's not going to be controlling. He's just going to be developing his own stupid minions. Uh, we'll do this with the Cobb Cannon, so it's good not to fight. <laughs> Uh, hunt mechanics work, even though you, sort of you play this and then it transforms these, but this will actually hunt. Hunt them down. So I think controlling is the way right now. This is a lot of damage. We do want to do this, the, the, the heavy face damage though, so let's just do it like this. We can remove the cat lady with the cop cannon next turn. So we're actually going to play it here so the cop cannon can affect more minions. The dog does move. Yes! Oh! <laughs> when you get jumping bean, it's so good! That was so great. We also got birds of freaking paradise. That was so lucky. Get wrecked. We also get this superpower now. The superpowers are gonna rack up. It's gonna be little buddy cab cannon, I presume. That was so good. Ma! Freeze. Oh 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 oh. I mean we don't have to. I'm not gonna do it actually. Let's do it like this. I'll develop you. 
Let's freeze this guy to death. Let's just play it safe. What he's gonna do? If he play, the only thing he can do to to really like you know put a huge guy in the field, put a guard turn guard in the field. We're just gonna remove it. So this is the play. Might as well play safe. We're gonna get another superpower now. We're getting more cards. Okay, great. He Rolling Stones is the wrong one. Now we have a team up on the field instead of having a stagnant on the field. <sighs> Always kill the team up. ATK <laughs> cat lady. That's why I don't like the strategy of killer whale plus something. Is because if you have any removal card, it just ruins the whole thing. And any deck worth half a bean, half a weenie beanie. Is it gonna have a removal card? Anyway, guys, it's 10 and 0. <laughs> Considering what else we had in our hands, that was pretty disgusting. Cobb Cannon really answers anything this match will throw at you. 10 and 0! This was a great idea. This is a really, really powerful deck. I love bringing back the, um, the Mushroom Grotto. The, the Zero Drops Pine Clones. The Pine Clones were so good. This deck really has the good early game control, Silver Flare superpowers, the really, really heavy mid-range, it's a mid-range deck with your Pine Clones or your, you know, Raptor Molecule, and then the big late game finishers with Cap Cannon and Sunstrike. It, it just came together so well. Hope you guys enjoyed. Absolutely amazing. Peace. This is Cry.